you have to provide the uh, health care or you pay the fine and many people are deciding to maybe not hire as many people or to pay the fine. Lots of people trying to figure out what they're going to do. They all know it's going to be one thing which is more expensive. Here is a Papa John's franchise owner, Judy Nichols, who was on Fox and Friends earlier with her thoughts. We have 51 full-time equivalents and the basis year is 2013. So we have to manage down our staffing by four part-time or two full-time people um, over the 2013 year from the beginning to the end or we qualify as big business and that minimum $40,000 tax and $2,000 per head. Uh, we can't afford that, it's just pizza. I was so ready for growth, we were gonna add 100 jobs this year with, with the new pizza restaurants and even some grocery stores. And there's just no money for it. I, I cannot pay my staff and pay all these taxes. It just, there's only so much blood you can get out of a turnip. Every restaurant that you eat at is impacted negatively by this, by this law. And for so many uh, small business owners, this law is counterintuitive to why they got into business. They got into business to get bigger. Uh, Zane Tankle, the guy with the Applebee's we told you about, he's really quite large. He's got a lot of employees. He was on our program on Friday and said this. Capital always finds its most efficient use. Its most efficient use is not adding to overhead. Its most efficient use is expanding a company and hiring people so they pay their own health care. Without a job, yeah, you need the government to give you health care. If you have a job, maybe it's not as, as important. And the reality is this will create less jobs. Guarantee. I'll and, bet and, my company on it. And Zane. So lots of people who run businesses right now, whether it's a small business or your CEO of a big corporation, you're no doubt having a lot of meetings right now about how do we work this whole mm -hmm. thing out with health care moving forward. You know, many people argue that a lot of these big companies are not going to be providing health care down the road as we've known it so that you will either have to go on the government mandated plan or figure it out on your own uh, so but there's going to be a lot of change mm. no doubt